Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to the free show. Pumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me and hanging out as we play a little bit more Leap of Fate, ladies and gentlemen. We're on episode four, probably. I don't know. We're going to go into the shop and we're going to have some fun here. See if we can't do a little bit better than we had in the past. There are keys available. We can get 1,000 mana for 50 of those. I think that's a good play. I'm going to get a little bit of HP. I'm going to get a little bit of this. And I'm going to get some keys. Pretty expensive overall, but I think it's going to be okay. And we're going to teleport out. And let's see what happens here. We've got ourselves a... what does this do? Maybe it lets us skip an entire floor or a card or something? I don't know. It's like it's time to do battle with the Guardians of Doom. Avoid some of the chaos. Oh gosh these giant balls of blasting and horrible awfulness that are getting very large though. It's whatever those guys are. They do not seem friendly. Alright. Oh! They're explosive. Of course they are. That one is. I mean that was that was obvious. I guess maybe the others were obvious too. I just didn't notice. Alright, we're gonna face the guardian. Okay. Got it. Some of the babies here. And we said good day, sir. Down he goes. Victory is ours. We got two health out of it. And I think that's about it. I don't think there was anything left to do on this floor. Let's just take a real quick look. There's an upgrade there, but it won't let me do anything. We don't have the key for that. So I guess it's already spent. It's already done. We could sacrifice to get another glyph, but I don't think we need to do that. Alright, so let's head on out and get done with this. Feeling pretty good, guys and gals. This is a different, but I don't know, I'd say overall better run than last time. You've got to admit, their ceremonial masks look pretty cool. You can only see out of one eye. Which I guess isn't a problem for you, buddy, but I mean, in general. Alright, Tesla's Ball Lightning. A damaging sphere orbits around you. Chrono boost. An amplifying circle is created at the Shadow Walk's destination. Basic attacks shot through it deal more damage. And chain lightning. I want the chain lightning. Though all those skills seemed amazing. I'm just saying. Alright, we made it from floor 3 onto floor 4. And a single combat card and level 4. Kill 4 balloon girls with Shadow Walk. Okay, I don't know what that means. Uh, open 6 treasure chests in level 4. Well, sounds like an exciting uh, new uh, potential opportunity here. I have never seen my mom again since she was taken away to an institution. Because of the mysterious energies I wield through my mind, I could never find the strength to go visit her. I am too scared I might just witness my own future. Alright folks, let's see if we can't get through level 4 this time around. I don't know what this does. What does it do? Looks like it just lets us skip it. I'd rather not, uh, do whatever. Uh, I don't know what's happening, but I'm scared. Oh my gosh, those things really do home in on you, huh? Okay, do we... Okay, we cleared out everybody that was chasing us. I feel like my ethereal attacks just aren't getting through the enemies. That's a health upgrade. Is that gonna kill me if that hits me? Who knows? All right, we got a pretty decent amount of stuff out of that. If we make it to a store, or really any place, that's gonna be good. Upgrades, or you name it. We're looking pretty solid this time around. We have a lot of keys and all sorts of various things. Alright, some more treasure loot to be had in here. Okay, I think we're okay right now. Uh, 
Okay. Well, I still seem to be getting hit once or twice per combat with those guys that fire those homing things at me. But overall, it's not too bad. Is there any more health or anything laying around? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so still some decent treasure. Oh, there's some gifts here, too. Well, maybe we'll go after the triple deal here. Okay, I don't think we'll be finishing one of those missions. I think one of them is going to be a little bit outside of our purview. I'm assuming, is that even a balloon girl or is that just like a, a ball rider or humper or something? I don't know. I'm not sure what those things are considered. But either way, I don't like them. Okay, I survived that. That's not bad. You still alive? Really? Oh, gosh. Woo! Sweet. More of these weird twisty things. I will take that 100% of the time. Is that guy riding the bear? Kind of looks like it. Alright, well, hey, ride the bear, I guess. That's a thing. Alright, moving along. Finally, we get to an upgrade spot. I'm looking forward to this because we have the ability to upgrade many things. A damaging sphere surrounds you. And then what is the other one? Fuel. Accumulating energy cells. Blue lightning adds extra damage to your basic attack. Huh. Really? That does seem pretty amazing. I'm going to go with the... Hold on. Explosive Bolt, Lightning Strike, and Taser. Each basic attack hits has a potential... Each attack hits has a potential to stun, or a probability to stun. Death Cloud, when you kill an enemy with a basic attack, you get a damaging cloud around its corpse for a short duration. Deal a powerful magical punch to creatures that hit you in melee. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, what's this? Delta PCU, an orbiting drone. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know about that one. All right, um, I think I'm going to go with the fuel. Let's get more with my basic attacks, because we have nine. We get up to 16 for that. All right, let's go to the shop and see what we can get from there. Mystery card one, mystery card two, and I suppose we can get one of those keys there as well. Teleport out, do they land or do we get to use them? We get to use them. Alright, well. Let's play the mystery card because we do have keys. And it's a health upgrade. Nice. Okay, next up. There's another one. Come on, bring it back. Bring it back. Is it on the other page? It is. Mystery card number two. What do we get? Another health upgrade. This is shaping up to be a lot better than the last run, guys and gals. Gotta say, I'm looking forward to the murder-death killing that will eventually ensue, but first let's go do some combat. Oh, those are balloon girls. Oh, gosh! Oh, uh, got mauled to death a little bit. Alright. Well, at least I know what the enemy is that we need to we need to shadow walk through those guys. Is that, what I think it was? that was not what I wanted to do. I made a terrible mistake. I'm sorry. Oh, we got a lot of mana out of the whole ordeal. I guess it's something. I right clicked instead of hit the space bar. It wasn't great. All right, this is a locked chest. I guess maybe. Nope, it's not. And we got the. Clockwork Key of Doom. Excellent. Excellent. Let's go there and let's get another upgrade if we can. What kind are we going to get this time, I wonder? Oh, we get to choose. Except for passive, apparently. Well, I am all about this. Quick Temper. See, I don't, I don't know. I said they're both pretty good. What is this final one here? Let's go with the damaging sphere, that seems cool. We have a lot of upgrading we can still do, so... Uh, what do we need here? We need to open six treasure chests, we've opened four so far. And a single combat card in level four, kill four balloon girls in Shadow Walk. I've only killed two, because I'm bad at doing things. Well, you are not balloon girls. Oh, I'm confused. Where 
is the little head thing that's shooting the doll head? Oh, we killed it? Oh, never mind. Okay. Let's see. Another mystery card. Let's go see what we can get from here. Giant treasure chest. With more health, and more mana, and more of the weird twisty triangle things. I guess I'll go to my gift card here. It's literally just health. It couldn't give me any of the blue lightnings. Come on. Alright, let's go to this combat card. Come on, balloon girls. Nope. Ow. Pew, pew, pew. I love it. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next. That's a good day. Is that, oh, there's one left. Alright, all of them have been slaughtered. Here's yet another chest, and our mission is complete for that. Alright, teleport out. Go to this one. Hope for the balloon girls. Na, 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 na. Nope, not balloon girls. Not balloon girls at all. Lots of beams and blasts and laser and pew pews coming our way. But, one down. What are these things? Oh, they hurt us. Don't step on them. Well, lesson learned. Oh, gosh. Well, that was easy. Oh, here we go again. Okay. Let's unlock that with a key, and even more mana coming our way. Plus that. And our final combat. Will we have balloon girls? We will not. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, a little slow with my reaction there. That's a bit sad. Hmm. And we are missing three health now. I have done poorly at keeping myself healthy. Alright, looks like we did leave some health back here with the gift, though. And bam, there we go. And I guess it's time to do battle with the Guardian. Can we make it through level 4, folks? Any time will tell. Okay. Probably not a good idea to walk through certain things. That hurt. Alright. If we get some more balloon girls here, we have to face the Guardian. It looks like a vampire. That is not good. All right. Well, we annihilated the vampire guy, and I think we got the balloon girl thing that we needed, so yay for victory and stuff and junk and whatnot. Okay, I'm going to leave here just to double check to make sure there's nothing left for us to do. I'm pretty sure we've done everything. We have. Our missions are complete. I, I think, yeah, they are. They're both complete. Okay. Onward to level 5, and then 6, and then victory, maybe. Or we'll die in level 5, and then I'll just like a new game this time. Hey, there's a small child there. This memory is very prominent in your psyche, Gabriel. Probably the last time you felt close to someone. Am I right? Marat, Marat. Might be right. The weird giant eyeball guy. The purple suit. Alright, every few attacks, an explosive bolt is automatically fired, levitation, we can float, or an amplifying circle is created. Uh, I'm gonna float. I'd like to levitate. Okay, level 5 missions. Clear 4 combat cards in five, in level 5. Complete level 5 by taking no more than 7 damage in that level. Oh, well, they don't know me very well, because that's never gonna happen. I will be taking much more than 7 damage, or whatever they said. The present, pain. When you live on the streets, alone and cold, it feels like the mysterious Undercity must be a haven for the homeless. 
but rejection is a permanent brand, and instead of finding kindred souls, all you find is slavery, violence, and abuse. Sounds bad. Alright, and our path through this is getting more and more complex as we go. It's okay. Alright, what are the- oh, these guys all have guns. That doesn't oh, super well for me. Really, I didn't avoid any of that? Oh, jeez. Well, I survived, but I did take at least one damage. Hey, we got the bronze key right away. Good, I could stand for an upgrade. Once again. Alright. Giant chest there. Let's go to the upgrade. What do we get? Please give me something good. I could use a passive. Oh, good. That's what they're giving me. Alright, what is this? Increase my max health by two, or gain one health when exiting a card with exactly one health. So, explain to me again how this is supposed to work now. That doesn't sound good at all. What is the other one? Uh, lower limb augmentation. We move faster. That's got the potential to get me killed way quicker as well. Oh dear. Uh, you take no damage from traps and explosive obstacles. Oh, that would have been nice. I would have taken that in a heartbeat. Each level once, you may transform a combat card into an unlocked mystery card. Oh, that sounds cool, too. The next attack that hits you is negated. Uh, we're going to go with the extra health. I'm just going to try to muscle or brute force our way through it. I think that's going to be our best play here. Uh, oh, jeez. This is looking already horrifying. Oh, there's fire all over the ground. That doesn't seem super good. I'll get you. Okay, you guys all throw your spears of doom. Here, enjoy my blast of doom too. Is that, oh, oh, there's still one guy left and he almost hit me. That's it, right? Okay, yeah, that's it for that. Next up, what do we got? Oh, I'm horrified. I don't know what's happening, but I'm scared. Well, we're down to four health. Out of like 12 or whatever it is that we have. That's not good. Definitely could use some healing. Not gonna be going to the sacrifice thing. Hmm. Alright, let's try this one. <laughs> okay, no health from there. We're down to three. Hey, we're back up to four. Yay for small victories. All right. What do we get? A little tiny bit of mana. That's about right. Let's hop out. Didn't do much for us. Well, we can go visit the sacrifice place. We don't have to actually make a sacrifice. Oh, this is some cool new glyphs, but no. We cannot afford the health. Alright, let's unlock the mystery card and see what we get. Oh no, it's cursed. What does that mean? Oh, well, it means that something's going to try to eat my face. Oh, that's fantastic. Dang it, it hit me at the last possible second. Well, that sucks. Well, this is getting to be a little bit challenging. <laughs> you guys don't seem to fall for my decoy anymore. Alright, back up to 4 HP. Hate that. I always get hit by that stupid, stupid thing on the side. That's alright. It's okay. We're hanging in there still. Staying around 3 to 4 HP the whole time. That's the, that's the new full health. Oh, well, we completed a mission for combat cards, but I'm sure we failed the mission, yeah, by <laughs> taking less than 7 damage. That was never going to happen. Alright. Let's do that. Oh, good. It leads me to a shop. 
Alright, well, I definitely want a health globe, some energy cells, and I guess a random glyph. Why not do all of those? Hey, we got the weird octopus glyph. The Wrath of the Ancient One. What does that do? Let me throw out weird octopus tentacles. That's, uh, hmm. That's something. I would prefer to have my atomic flash, too. Thank you very much. Alright, and combat all around. Well, let's go for the one with the larger treasure chest. So these floors are going to be very, very miserable. Oh, gosh. Oh, something's happening to me. It's scary. Okay, so that thing grabbed me and pulled me to it. That's weird. And very unsettling. What do we get in the chest? Oh, more of those things. Even more mana. Okay. My goodness, there's a lot of combat cards to get through here. Hmm. Alright, let's go to this one. It'll reveal the most area for us. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm gonna crush your skull. Well, that is a new enemy that I am not a fan of. Mostly can be hit. Okay. A little bit of HP there, back up to four. Ow, of course that guy had to have an aura that I triggered just by getting near him. Uh, now we're down to two. Gosh. Well, things are getting really, really, really bad. If we could only get a little bit further. Let's see here. Alright, there's another upgrade there. Let us go to the passive. Can we get something that gets us a, to stay alive? Take no damage from explosives and traps. I don't know if moving faster is going to be the play. Shovel, you can transform the combat card. Reroll. Obstacles such as cars. Can drop mana or loot when destroyed. I wonder if loot is. Eh, whatever. We take no damage from traps and explosives. That would have been useful like a long time ago, but we'll take it now, I guess. Well, we could attempt to go for the boss, but I think that would end up getting us killed, so. Oh, and we're, we're, we're on our last leg. We're about to die, guys and gals. Hope you guys have enjoyed this so far, because it's all about to go bye bye. And there it is. Death has ensued, and we could actually continue if we had the full 100. That's interesting. Well, there you go, guys and gals. That is my second attempt at the game. We got one step further, but not quite a full run just yet. But, I don't know. I'll give it a week or two, guys and gals, and I will be back with more Leap of Fate. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I'll catch you next time with another episode. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquickums. Thank you for stopping by the free show, and I will see you later.